Good afternoon. It's me again, and I've done the brakes on the front. Might have seen the last video, might not have. Did the bag on the booster. That's in a video before that. Go and check them fine pieces of vid videotography. And now I'm going to pull this back caliper off. Well, not the. Uh, not the what? What am I saying? Not the pipes. I don't want to bleed near it. So yeah, I'm going to take the caliper off. Torsion arm disconnected. What else do we want? Um, just undo it from the ca carrier, in it. There's one. Two. Yeah, it's more, as I said in the last video, I've travelled through the space-time continuum. And um, I think I need to undo this end of the torsion bar as well. You've got 14 on the, on the back end. Yeah. And 12 on the front end. Chewed that. It's a bit chewed. Let's I don't think which way I need to go. Something like that. That's doing it up. We don't want that. Off my bloody brake caliper, you. Thank you. So there, are plenty of meat on them. Um, pistons aren't very far out. Bit of furring, which has got to be expected, being that they have been ridden through the winter, and I've done nothing to the bikes. It's a little bit disgusting. Oh yeah, you can see the rust and everything in there. So need to get some pliers, pull that pin out of there, and then hopefully be able to get these pins out. There's a bit of surface rust on this one, which always makes it awkward to get through the holes. But um, yeah, I'll get some pliers and get them off first. Get this debris here that doesn't want to work at all. Perhaps we want some. Penetrating debris on it first, being careful of everything else. Leave that to have a little bit of a soak while I get some pliers. They're peeing hard outside now. Right, let's get this. Uh, bent that up. That's not as useful as it was. Yeah, I have to figure out the shape of that. Oh, blimey, that's coming down. I have to figure out the shape of that when I'm putting it back together, I suppose. Uh, 
And unfortunately, there's no rear holes to tap these through. They're not moving at all. That's really crap. Bit of a shit design, isn't it? Trying to point at the bloody camera. I can't see what's going on. Yeah, that's not moving at all. Everything looks in dirty but good shape. I can't get these pins moving, so I think what I'll do is uh, get a new pin and clip set and then tackle this when I've got replacement parts or else this is going to immobilise my bike. No, I don't want that. So there you go, not so clever going into this half cocked. I know there's a pin, there's a clip this end as well, but that doesn't really put a hell of a lot of force on it. Um, it is just a retaining sort of spring clip um, wrapped around the back of these. It wouldn't give enough pressure to cause this much grief to get these pins out. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stick that if I can get the right shape because I've proper bent that up. There you go. I'm going to stick that back in. Like that. And then I'm going to get a new clip and pin set. And then it doesn't matter what really happens with these. As long as I don't knacker the caliper. It doesn't really matter what happens to the bits I take out because I'll have new to go in. As I say, I don't, I don't overly use the back brake, um, but I certainly don't want to incapacitate the bike due to no rear brake. So, like the animal I am, I'll just spread my pads. Ooh, spread your pads. Just glue all this back together. Perhaps that is a good advert for putting copper slip on your pins. There's, um, there's obviously a train of thought both ways on that, but uh, I always used to do it, more so on cars than bikes, but uh, always used to do it. Um, Let's get you back in line. Um, yeah, always used to do it, and then you start hearing that, uh, oh, what if the copper slip gets on here, and you can over-torque it because you've got the added grease on there, and blah, 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 blah. But now, I'm definitely thinking I should have put some copper slip on them pins. I think I did on the far end, so the end that's captured in the back end, but it's this front end, and obviously the build up of rust on the pins stops it wanting to come through anyway. So, so uh, what we want to do 
is um, what do we don't want to do? Well, as I say, avoid incapacitating the um, the bike. Well, I've got other bikes. There's no point in purposely purposely take one off the road when you haven't got the required gear to repair it. Is that the wrong way? That's the wrong way, isn't it? It's that way. So probably, if anything, that sort of might create a little drip tray for the water to stay in and help rust everything. It might not. I might just be making that up. It is my lack of maintenance that's led to this stage so I've got to take the blame right that's back on and it's working so there you go another another fail of 24 um, rotten brakes look after your brakes don't leave them three months during some of the worst weather ice we didn't have snow, did we? No. A little bit? Anyway, ice, uh, salt on the roads, raining profusely, leaves on the track, you know the score. Don't leave your bike um, to rot through that. But the fronts are working perfectly. The back's working. It's just a bit rusty and shitty. But there you go. That's me in the shed on a Saturday afternoon getting it wrong again ill prepared that's the trouble there ill bloody prepared Taylor Swift hello um, with my filthy bike <laughs> and my handbag and my tank bag beautiful anyway enough waffle thanks for watching comment below take the piss do what you want I'll um, possibly catch you again Tura.